today we're making these amazing mini macarons. How gorgeous and high-end do these look? These are super easy to make though and they're absolutely delicious. You won't be able to stop eating these. Macarons can be quite expensive. A dozen of these can sell for as high as $30, $40 and that's only for 12 macarons. We're gonna make hundreds of these today for only five bucks and we're gonna make them better. A big thank you to Dragon Mania Legends for sponsoring today's video. Okay, macarons are pretty straightforward and easy. You will have to follow some crucial steps though. First one being you gotta sift that powdered sugar and almond flour. If you're not willing to do this, then why are you watching a macaron video? Patience is key. I recommend just buying the almond flour for this recipe. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's super fine. You can, however, just buy the almonds and make it yourself, but please use a good quality food processor. You want to ground those almonds as finely as you can. You will have some leftover almond pieces. Do not push those through, okay? If they did not make it into the bowl, do not force them. Instead, add them to a smoothie and enjoy. You're gonna set this to the side and we're gonna whip up those egg whites with the sugar. Make sure you're using a very clean glass or metal bowl or your eggs will not whip up properly. You can add a teaspoon of cream of tartar or a teaspoon of lemon juice to help stabilize the egg whites. I personally have come to the conclusion that, you know, it really doesn't do anything, so I just don't at it. It's simple, clean bowl, room temperature eggs, whip properly. If you're new to my channel, hello there, welcome. Make sure to subscribe and click that bell. I post new videos every week. You'll know your meringue is ready when it becomes this beautiful glossy white and it reaches stiff peaks. If you flip the bowl, it should stay put. At this point, if desired, you can add some gel food coloring. I'm gonna do pastel colors today because it's springtime and they look so pretty. Mix that in and we're ready to sift in the sugar and almond flour. Again, yes, again, okay? We want smooth macaron tops. We don't want bumpy macaron tops, okay? <laughs> again, you will have some leftover almond flour. You can make another smoothie, discard it, do not add it to the bowl. Now this is where problems start to happen and I think it's because people start to freak out at this point. You're gonna fold in that almond flour and powdered sugar into the meringue. If you over mix this or under mix this, your macarons will not turn out. Can you still eat them? Of course you can. All we're looking for is the right consistency. We're looking for a sort of cake batter consistency, sort of a flowing lava kind of batter. If you lift up your spatula and your batter falls right on top of the other batter and stays that way, it's not ready. Continue to mix this. This is how you'll know it's ready. Your batter should spread out but still keep somewhat of its shape. It's going to look like flowing lava. <laughs> Simple. If you're serious about learning how to make macarons, head over to my website. You'll find the full step-by-step -step method there. Transfer the batter into a piping bag fitted with a small round tip and pipe the macarons onto a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. Paper. Try to apply even pressure, that way they're roughly all the same size and they bake evenly. You're gonna bake these onto your kitchen counter a few times, that way you know they spread out and release any air bubbles. Now these need to sit for about 30-40 minutes. Do not bake these right away. During this time the macarons will dry out. This is the perfect time to relax and play a game. I gotta tell you Dragon Mania Legends has become such a big part of my life. It's so much fun to play and it's the cutest game ever. Download it, it's free, let's play together. You can collect feed and cuddle 600 dragons. Each dragon has its own personality and strength. I have seven dragons at the moment and they're my babies. Julia's my favorite. She's a fire dragon and she's becoming quite big. She's got a big appetite. I'm continuously cultivating a lot of crops to feed her and her brothers. The game is full of challenges, tasks to do, lots of exploring. It's a really fun and relaxing game. I'll leave the link in the description box. Download the game. It is free to play. You can fully enjoy the game without spending a penny, okay? And let me know which is your favorite dragon. Fast forward 40 minutes later, you can gently caress them, show them some love. <laughs> the tops are dry, that's how you'll know they're ready for the oven. You're gonna bake these babies one sheet at a time in a preheated oven at 140 degrees Celsius or 200 Fahrenheit for about 10 to 13 minutes. Allow these to cool on the cookie sheets. If you remove these right away, they'll just stick to the parchment paper. These look absolutely amazing. Use a knife to gently remove these from the parchment paper once they have cooled and you can fill these with whatever you like you can do jam cream cheese frosting buttercream chocolate ganache all great options you do want to use a piping bag to fill these it just makes things so much faster now how good and gorgeous do these look these remind me of mini chocolate easter eggs i'm telling you these are dangerous you won't be able to stop eating these they're absolutely delicious much cheaper and way better than anything store-bought you're so wild